we all have unique fingerprints. And so is our lives. We walk through a different path. We all are raised differently. We all experience different experiences through life. If we can collect all this and compete against ourselves instead of competing against each other, only then we can show our colors and we can have an impact on this world. In 1975, I was born to a Kuwaiti Muslim father and an Italian Christian Catholic mother. This multiple religion and culture that I was raised in at the beginning was not easy, especially in my first years of childhood, because all what I wanted is to fit and be accepted, not knowing that this multiple or this diversity in culture and religion gave me the strongest foundation on top of which I have built tolerance and, and kindness to other people. In 1998, I graduated from Kuwait University with a civil engineering degree and with a good GPA that elected me or granted me a scholarship to pursue my higher education in the United States. I graduated in, uh, from, North, uh, from Oregon State University with my master's, North Carolina State uh, University with my PhD in 2005. And in both programs, I was nearly the only female. I don't think I ever had to struggle, maybe because I was raised between male siblings and I had the tools required to gracefully place myself in a world dominated mainly by men. In 2006, I became a faculty at Kuwait University, and at that day, I was the happiest person on earth. This was my dream, to be a teacher, because I knew through that path, I could touch people's life and, had a, and have an impact on them. In 2013, my career had a detour. When Dr. Rana, the former director of uh, the construction program, Dr. Rana Al-Fares, who is now the Minister of Public Work, had asked me to be her assistant in supervising the construction of the new university campus in Shadadia. Actually, I was scared. I didn't know if I'm going to be up to that. But with the encouragement of my family, my husband, my brothers, and my dear friends, I decided to take the challenge. And I started working in the construction program. Four years later, suddenly I felt that there was the enthusiasm that I used to have just went down. And I felt it's only fair enough to step down the position. So I went to my director and I explained to him that I'm not any more satisfied or I cannot give more than what I already give. And I need to step down. So I remember him telling me that if this is what you want to do, then we do it together. Either we continue together or we step down together. That was 2016. We had promised Kuwait and Kuwait University to be operating the new campus in 2019. So for the whole management to step down, that was going to be a drastic change. And definitely, we will not be fulfilling that dream. So I went back, thought of it, and then decided if, I have, if I'm willing to give back my country what my country has given to me and to fulfill the trust that my institute had placed in me, I had to continue. But then how could I continue if there is no enthusiasm in me? So I had to analyze what was happening. I love teaching, but yet I don't like working in what I teach. And that was weird. So I looked into it, and while this happened, and I found out that when I'm teaching, I'm always between people, and I'm a people person. Well, when I was working, as you can see, it's either I'm behind desk, meetings, or signing so many papers. And that was not me. So I, say, so I said, okay, let me bring whatever I like into whatever I don't like. So I decided to hit the field, although that was not my uh, job description, but I knew that being between people is what's going to ignite my enthusiasm back in the job that I was doing. And that what happened. I took two hours before my working day started, and I started going to the field, visiting old projects. And by the way, we have 13 projects running at the same time. We have 13,000 workers going on. So to me, that was Wonderland. Going and meeting all these people, all these workers, all these safety officers, all the field engineers, to me, that was heaven. And that what happened for six continuous months, every single day during summer, during winter, and even during Ramadan, to make them feel that management is part of that work. Six months later, I noticed that we had a lot of work to go through. And we had one year and a half 
and 2019 would hit. So what could we do to make sure to accomplish that dream? I went to my director, Dr. Kuteba, to whom I'm always grateful of his leadership. And I told him, for us to complete, we have to raise the productivity at site. And to do that, we have ourselves to be enthusiastic, to be able to trickle down to everybody else. So I said, how about creating a competition? We had four contracts to go through with a total of six colleges, College of Engineering, Science, Art, Education, Business, and Life Science. So we divided the project among us. And I took College of Engineering, Dr. Kuteva took the College of Art and Education, Engineer Saeed, the Executive Project Manager, took the College of Science, and Engineer Nidal took the College of Business and Life Science. What we did, we had to supervise all the projects, but yet each one of us had to concentrate on that project, and we wanted to see who would bring that project to an end first. College of Engineering was the worst. When I used to go there, it felt deserted. Um, the, we had low manpower, uh, problems in the cash flow, and the team, the teams, I mean the four stakeholders, contracting, consultant, project management, and the owner rep, each one had his own goal differently. So I went there, had a meeting, first meeting, and told them, listen guys, I hate to lose. So we will do whatever we can, but we will win this, this competition. What changed during that is that the four stakeholders no longer had four different goals. We all had the same goal is to win against other projects. So what we did, we had a year and a half. I asked them to take the budget left to complete the work and divide it on each month and then take each month budget and give me the worth of work against it and break that down in two weeks. So what I had to do is every week as if I'm going to go and hand in or receive the work they have done. So they had the contractor working, consulting, daily supervision, owner rep, project manager there with, to help, checking contractually, financially, budget-wise, everything was going correctly. And then at the end of the week, I came to, 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 to receive the work. Sometimes they would miss two, day, two, uh, two days and they would ask me to postpone the visit. And I just refused. I told them I would go there and receive whatever they have. And they would work day and night to make sure that when I go and receive the work, I find it as complete as it is. What I did is I used Instagram and I used the social media. I opened my Instagram. So I was posting the stories of daily visits to the public. So everybody knew what was happening in that project. And every time my team performed well and did something great, we had a selfie. And then I posted it with a specialized note every single week. So they, were fe they felt so proud. They used to capture that and send it among each other, feeling proud. It's small, tiny things. It doesn't mean, mean anything to us, maybe, but to them, it meant the world. And guess what? I did not win. But we, as Kuwait University, managed to deliver the project in 2019. And in, in uh, the 8th of September 2019, we managed to uh, operate College of Engineering, College of Science, Art, Education, Business, and Social Science. And that's a live picture of College of Engineering. That was 2016 when I decided to leave, and that's our project in 2019. If I have to say something, or what did I learn out of this experience, is always find what you love in what you do and take all your qualities and compete against yourself. Only then you will find out what are your true colors and you will be able to impact this world. Thank you.